welcome dear students today we are going to look how to prove an empty set is unique we are going to establish this kind of proof by using the method of direct proof by direct proof we know that from the uniqueness theorem if We have two empty sets, say empty set 1 and empty set 2. And empty set is said to be unique if and only if empty set 1 is equal to empty set 2. It means we are required to show that. empty set 1 is a subset of empty set 2 and conversely empty set 2 is a subset of empty set 1 let us prove let us prove for empty set 1 is a subset of empty set 2 it means from definition of subset if x will be an element of m to set 1 then x also must be an element of an m to set 2 this is from the definition of subset but we know that from definition of subset from definition of an m to set from definition of empty set an empty set is a set which has no element so it has no element if it has no element it means it means the statement x is an element of empty set 1 is false denoted by capital letter f and statement x is an element of an empty set 2 is also false denoted by capital letter f it means now uh, this statement becomes false implies false and from the definition of amplification we know that false implies false is a statement which gives truth value or it has truth value it means see, <coughs> this is this proves that empty set 1 is a subset of an empty set 2. Let us look for the second case, which we are required to prove that empty set 2 is a subset of empty set 1. It means from definition of an empty set, if y will be an element of an empty set 2, y also must be an element of an empty set 1 and from definition of empty set <coughs> empty set has no element at all if an empty set has no element it means the statement y is an element of empty set 2 is false and also the statement y is an element of an empty set 1 is false. Now our implication becomes false implies false. And from the definition of implication, this also gives the truth value. This shows that empty set 2 is a subset of empty set 1 is true. Thus, we have already showed that an empty set 1 is a subset of an empty set 2, and also an empty set 2 is a subset of an empty set 1. So, since empty set 1 is a subset of empty set 2, and empty set 2 is an empty set of is a subset of an, an empty set 1, 
Thus, an empty set 1 can be concluded that is equal to an empty set, an empty set 2, which is a required, which is, will be the end of our proof. Thank you for listening.